So this is what a nutrition fact label looks like. This is going to be on the foods that you consume if your foods are packaged. The package will contain a nutrient facts label. And there are a few different things that you want to pay attention to. The first thing is going to be the serving size. At the very top, it tells you what is the serving size. This is something that you want to look at because all of the numbers following are for that specific amount. So in this example, it says the serving size is 3 4th cup. So if you consume 3 4th cup, you're getting 110 calories, 1 gram of fat, and so on. But if you consume 1 cup, for example, that's more than the serving. So you're actually going to be consuming more than what's listed here for you in terms of calories, fat, and so on. So you always want to make sure that you are looking at the serving size, especially because certain things like, for example, drinks or other snack items, a lot of times people assume that they are one serving and they eat or drink the whole thing in one sitting when they are actually multiple servings. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to that so that you know exactly how much you're consuming. Another thing is the daily values, the percent daily values. A lot of people tend to mistake these and think that they mean that this is the percentage of what is in the food, meaning, for example, it says next to sodium, 10% daily value. People think that that means 10% of this food item is sodium. That's not actually the case. It's not telling us how much of that nutrient is in the food. It's telling us how close you are to meeting your daily recommendation for that nutrient. So the percent daily values are based off of the recommendations for someone on a 2,000 calorie diet, just because that's a pretty average number. If you're a smaller female, usually you'll need less than 2,000. If you're a larger male, you'll tend to need a little bit more than 2,000. So 2,000 is a good middle ground and it'll give you a general idea of how close you are to meeting your recommendations. So for example, looking back at the sodium, sodium says 10% daily value. That tells you that if you consume one serving, you are consuming 10% of your sodium allowance for the day. If you consume two servings, then you know you've consumed 20% of your sodium allowance for the day. So that can be something that is really useful to look at, especially for the things that maybe you tend to lack in or consume too much of. For example, a lot of people tend to get too much sodium, so looking at the percentage can give you an idea of how close you are to meeting your limit. A lot of people also don't get enough fiber, so looking at the percentage of fiber can tell you how close you are to meeting your fiber goal. So they can actually be very beneficial to use. This over here now is showing us the difference between the original food label and the proposed changes. So the original one that you see on the left hand side is like the one that we just went over. It's how a nutrition facts label looks right now, but they are wanting to make some changes to it. They actually just recently approved the changes to the nutrition facts label and you should be seeing changes in the end of July 2016. So let's go ahead and go over some of the changes here. The first change that you might notice is that the servings per container is in bigger bolder font and this is because of what I mentioned that a lot of people tend to not realize how many servings are in a certain food item and just consume it all as one serving. So they want to make sure we're not making that mistake. They also want to make sure that we are managing our calories better because that's the basis of managing our weight, which is one of our main goals. So the calories are in a larger font. Another thing that they did is move the percent daily values to the left. This is something that they wanted to do because a lot of people don't use the percent daily values since um, it's something that is on the far right. They wanted to move it to the left hand side because in English we read from left to right. So your eye will go there first and they were hoping that that would mean that we would 
see it, read it, and actually use the percent daily values. But that was something that actually wasn't approved. So that is the one change that you're not going to see in July 2016. They wanted that change to happen, but it uh, wasn't voted on. So the rest of the changes you will see, but the percent daily value should still remain on the right hand side. Now, one other difference that I wanted to point out here that wasn't in the previous slide is added sugars. If you take a look at the carbohydrates, right now we have the subcategory of fiber and sugar underneath carbohydrates. But before we had no way of knowing how much of that sugar came naturally in the food and how much of it was added into a product. And now they are listing that information out for us. So we'll know how much sugar is in the product and then how many grams of that sugar is added, so not occurring naturally. This can be really beneficial, for example, in things like juice that contain natural sugar from the fruit, but a lot of times food manufacturers add in extra sugar. So maybe you're okay with consuming a fruit juice that's not 100% fruit juice, 100% natural, but you at least wanna make sure that the majority of the sugar is coming from the uh, fruit itself. And now you have a way of knowing. You can go ahead and take a look at the um, carbohydrate section. It'll tell you how many grams of sugar are in that product and then how many of them are added as opposed to occur naturally. Another way you can get an idea about that is by looking at the ingredients. The ingredients are listed in order of weight, in descending order, meaning the very first ingredient is the one that is contained in the largest quantity in the food, and it goes on downwards. So if fruit comes before sugar in the ingredients list, then you know that there is more fruit than sugar in the item that you're looking at, just as an example.